you start putting up videos and you have periods of absolute mortification. You want to crawl under the bed and maybe even delete those videos because it's called a some, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to call it a visibility hangover, uh, which is the experience of, oh my God, this thing is out there and I don't look as good as I thought I looked uh, or sound as good or seem as smart or whatever judgment you, you tend to put on yourself. And it it's totally normal. In fact, I would say <clears throat> the only people for whom it's not normal is people who grew up with a camera in their face, uh, you know, uh, child stars, or just these days, just many kids grew up with making videos. And they're so just like, what, mommy, why are you embarrassed? This is so normal to just put yourself out there to the whole world. Uh, you know, your daily life kind of thing, or, or whatever you want to share. So for, for, for us adults who didn't grow up with that, it, it has a natural feeling of, oh my goodness, like, and you want to delete it. I have certainly gone through, I, I, those of you who know my story know that I uh, really discounted video, say, oh, video is never going to be a thing. I was saying this since 2009, from 2009 to 2014, I told everyone, oh, video is never going to be a thing online. <laughs> I was, I'm so embarrassed. Right? It was ridiculous. Why? Because I was mortified to see myself on camera. I'm like, I'm never going to, because now I'm a marketing expert. People are going to ask me, should I make video? I'm like, no, no, it's video. Just do text only posts, do images, video, let someone else do video. You don't have to do video. But of course, now I'm such a huge fan because I've seen how it's really built uh, and nurtured my warm audience. I'm a huge fan of video now, but it had, it took me so many videos before I stopped being really embarrassed, at least 10 to 20 to 30 before I stopped being really embarrassed. And then another 30 to 60 before I stopped being uh, somewhat embarrassed. And still to this day, sometimes I upload something, ah, oh, yeah, I, I totally messed up on that one. It wasn't as crisp as it could have been, or it wasn't as fill in the judgment as it could have been. I still feel that today, but of course I now had, have had thousands of experiences just ignoring that inner critic. And the more you practice ignoring the inner critic, uh, the softer that voice becomes and the stronger you become in ignoring the inner critic. And now I've been like, whatever. Thank you, inner critic, for your care. Uh, you are trying to protect me. I understand. And you're trying to protect my reputation and uh, whatever. I understand. Thank you for your care. I don't even have that dialogue anymore. Now I'm just getting used to ignoring it, thinking, ignoring it. It's very instinctual now. So now I, I embarrass myself all day long, all week long on video and I'm okay with it. And I, I really, I really do think, and I'll and end with this part. It does build an authentic self-confidence and authentic power and self-empowerment when you practice doing that ignoring and still keep the video up, no matter how embarrassing or whatever it feels to you, you become more and more powerful over time, which spills into many other areas of your business and your life. So it's a it's an amazing, scary practice. Hopefully, you can get together with a few supportive friends to begin, maybe a private Facebook group where you share with each other. I happen to have a video course. Uh, I'm not this is one that's meant to be a blatant switch sell, but I wanted to mention for those of you who want my continued guidance and also a, a private Facebook group for those of my video course to I call it, you know, beta test your videos. Just post as many as you want in that group and we'll support you as much as possible. So that kind of thing. But like I said, you know, I don't care if you take my course or not, but I do care that you have some supportive environment. You can create your own to to to, to post your videos there, get get support and get practice setting aside your inner critic, keeping the videos published and publishing more. So I hope that helps.